Hello YouTube and welcome to another Redis tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to run transactions in Redis. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know Redis is a key value in the memory database and it allows us to use transactions. Okay. So what is transaction? So a transaction actually is a set of commands that are executed one after another. So Redis allows you actually to plan a set of commands random. So I will show you here a very simple example to actually see that. So first of all, let's connect to our Redis server. So we will use here the Redis CLI. Here we go. So we are connected. So in order to execute a set of commands or what we call a transaction, we have to use a special command called multi. So here I will use the command multi. And then here you can see the prompt has changed to transaction or TX. Now I can enter all the commands I want one after another. So for example, let's set age, a key value, age for 30, for example. Let's increment it. So here you see queued. So all the commands in the transactions are queued until you execute them. So let's increment this uh, age value by one here. Here we go. Let's, so now the age has 31 and let's increment it also by number for example let's increment age by 10 so now the age value is actually 41 and the last command that i will be here with is to get the key value or the value of the age key okay so here you can see that all these commands are keyword so from the set age 30 to the get age are queued in the transaction. So in order to execute now this set of commands, we have to issue the command exec. Here we go. So you know, so now when we execute the command exec, it has executed all the commands one after another. And, and here you can see the result of each command. So for the set age 30, we have a return value of OK. Then we increment the age by 1, so we have 31. Then we have incremented by 10, which is 41. And the last command is to get this uh, key age, which is 41. So this is how you execute your commands in a transaction. But what happened, for example, if you have syntax error in this set of commands so let's see that so i will issue here once again the command multi okay so let's set this time the age for 20 okay let's increment it by one so now the age has a value of uh, 21 and here let's say that we have increment by but instead with by i here i mistyped by by using buy so have here we have syntax error okay so let's say that we want to increment it by 10. so normally if the increment by command was actually uh, what was true we will have the value of 31 but here we have committed syntax error so you know now we get actually the error unknown command increment by so let's get our edge value here it's also queued but if this time we execute the exec command we will not have the result because we have inside our commands syntax error so remember that if you have a syntax error 
inside your set of commands so the transaction will not be run so it's very important to notice that so make sure that inside actually the transaction you don't have any syntax error it's very important so if you want to run this transaction you have to start the transaction by multi and try not to commit any syntax error okay so here i showed you the different way to execute a transaction but if you want this time to cancel a transaction so let's say for example you have a very big transaction so always with the word multi let's set the age to for example 15 let's increment the age okay and let's increment it by but this time I will not commit here uh, syntax error by 10 let's get the key age so if you want this time to not execute the transaction you want actually to cancel it all you have to do is to issue the command discard so so the command discard actually will cancel this transaction or this set of commands here we go so it's okay now so if you get the edge you will not get actually i have to do the value edge we have the previous one not the new one because we have cancelled the whole transaction here okay so remember that so transactions are very very important uh, task also in Redis server all you have to pay attention that every transaction must actually begin with the keyword or the command multi and must end with the exec command okay and inside the transaction make sure to do not have any uh, syntax error in order to execute all your commands okay so it's very important and last thing that I showed you in this video is how to cancel a transaction in order to cancel a transaction you have actually to issue the command discard at the end of your set of commands so that was just a brief introduction how to use transactions in Redis server as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye